Electricity theft and vandalism of electrical equipment is a worrying trend and Umeme is not taking the issue lightly. Risky as it is, vandals continue to wreak havoc, especially in Kampala suburbs. For example, as uh, the information given out by the engineer, we so far have uh, uh, lost over 20 transformers. Now, on average, a transformer is about uh, 40 million. So that's uh, about 800 million that has been lost because of transformers. It is costly to replace the stolen power equipment in addition to affecting electricity supply. With a multi-sectoral approach and increased public sensitization, the power distributor hopes to nip the vice in the bud. Now, the issue is that uh, when you have a lot of illegal surprise uh, on a transformer, then you have a lot of uh, consumption that is not planned for. Where you expect 200 customers, you, 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 you have over 400. So that uh, makes it hard for you to plan and uh, it puts pressure on the transformers. And now, for planning purposes, uh, when you know the number of customers, it makes it easy to know where do you need to, to, to put a, a new transformer. It is believed that the vandals are involved in dubious business activities. According to police investigators, oil collected from the transformers end up in fast food frying pans, whereas copper from the containers is used in welding machines. First of all, they have oil. That oil is, uh, people use it in welding. They say it's good for that. Uh, but the most important and the most dangerous, this oil, they get a drop and put in these foods, the, the, the fast foods they sell along the streets. When you see a, a fried chicken which is glittering and is looking nice, the intelligence say, tells us that they have put a drop of transformer oil. Dennis Ikoa, for UBC Business.